Hey guys, so in this video I want to showcase the mod called FPS Limiter. And if you're wondering like why why should you limit your FPS, it's actually really good because have you ever had those times where you look up, the game speeds way up, you look down, it slows down? Well, if you have an FPS limiter, it will keep it consistent and this, the speed of the game will stay about the same. Um, so, oh, and it also reduces the heat that your processor and um, your video card produce. So it'll keep your system running cooler and it could even make them last longer. So that's what they say anyway, running cooler makes them last longer. So you can see my FPS in the top left. I have it limited to 35. As you can see, when I look straight up, it just caps right at 35. But by default, FPS limiter stays at 30. Now let me go to the page. Okay, basic, where's my mouse? Okay, basically you just go up skyrimnexus.com, you search for FPS limiter, and there you go. So, I wonder if there's a new ver- I don't think there's a new version. 1. Uh, November 11th, yeah. This is the same version that's been out since day one, so. There's actually a bug in FPS limiter, and uh, the thing will tell you, they tell you right here exactly what you gotta do to install it, but there's a bug that I want to throw out there because um, basically the default settings create a bug. Have I said bug enough times? Bug, bug, bug. Um, the default settings create a bug. A bug, bug, bug. Where if you go through a door or a loading screen, the loading screens take forever. So what I did to fix this bug, bug, bug is I raised the FPS cap to 35 in, in the little configuration rater thing. And that fixed the bug, bug, bug. So to do, uh, why does it do that? Okay. So to do that, uh, after you install the mod, it, you should have this anti lag. And then the other one, it was like D, I think it was this one, D3, D9, blah, blah, blah. Well, what you do is you open antilag.cfg. You might have to open it with notepad if it doesn't already. So you go in there and then here's your settings. You want to set your FPS lim limit to something over 30. 32 might be fine, but I prefer 35 because it's being safe and I don't want my loading screens to take one minute, two minutes, you know. If you followed my Let's Play, I made so many comments about my long loading screens. It was just the other day that I figured out that was the cause. It was the FPS limiter. I don't know why. But changing it up to 35 fixed it and everything is amazing. Just let me count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, And before it would be like 15 just for this place. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if I was to go out into the overworld, phew, 1 minute 30 second loading screen, 1 minute and 30 second, yeah. So that's just a tip for anyone who is using FPS limiter. And just for fun, let's see how long this loading screen takes. Just, just to make sure that 35 helped. So here we go. And my thing froze because that's what it does. So I started at 8 seconds and 19. Okay, so that was 11 seconds versus like one whole minute or even more. One minute and 30 seconds sometimes. It, it's just, wow. So 30, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 40, 41, 11 seconds again. So, yeah, that that's pretty awesome. So now I know why I had the, those ridiculous loading times. And, yeah, I hope I helped someone. And um, if this video helped you, please, please, please press the like button. Hold on, my iPod's going up. Okay. Please press the like button and make a comment if you like. Because it 
helps me to know that I'm helping people and it makes me want to ma help more. So does that make sense? Okay, so I hope it helped. Bye.